What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about PlayStation 4 Pro game optimization. Now there's certainly some games that don't need it and I would say games that definitely do. From what we've seen in the past, The Last Guardian, Team Eco's latest game that took over a decade to make, might actually need the PlayStation 4 Pro to look beautiful and up to date and modern. For some reason the game has a very dated look to it. It might be the color palettes that they're using. It just doesn't seem to pop whenever I see the images. So hopefully on PlayStation 4 Pro it's going to pop, it's going to look more alive and look more modern. I will drop a link in the description for you guys. The Last Guardian is getting PlayStation 4 Pro optimization. A month before SEI's The Last Guardian comes out for the PS4, it comes to our knowledge that the game will arrive with PlayStation 4 Pro support. According to Sony, the recently released console houses upgraded CPU and GPU to offer 4K resolution and unmatched frame rates. While a number of existing games have already been announced to get PS4 Pro support, The Last Guardian is among those titles still in the pipeline which is being enhanced for the PlayStation 4 Pro. It is yet unclear what changes the PS4 Pro version of The Last Guardian will come with but Eurogamer says it will also support HDR via a patch. Apart from The Last Guardian, some of the other upcoming titles that will be playable on the PS4 Pro are Watch Dogs 2, Final Fantasy XV, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, and For Honor. The Last Guardian is a heavily anticipated title designed and directed by Fumito Ueda and it contains many of the elements seen in his previously acclaimed games. Having been in development for nearly 10 years, The Last Guardian has undergone quite a few delays. But going by whatever we have seen on the game so far, including some in-depth gameplay footages, it appears that the creators have utilized the extra time to the best of their abilities. At the heart of The Last Guardian lies the typical Yuida-like theme of an unlikely but golden man-beast relationship. But this one is distinct. For starters, the beast in the upcoming game is not a horse, but a mammoth avian mammal hybrid named Trico. However, players must be advised that Trico is far from being pet material. He has a personality of his own, which the player needs to understand to fully utilize in his favor. Players in the US will be able to get their hands on The Last Guardian on December 6. This is more and more exciting news. I'll probably, and I'm just being totally honest because I'd like to be honest with you guys, I'll probably end up getting a PS4 Pro probably in the first quarter of 2017. That's probably the time frame for me. Right now there's three of them in my house. I probably won't end up selling the one I have, the, my main PS4 now. I just don't like to sell stuff. I like to hoard it. I like to keep it. I don't sell used games. I don't sell old games. I didn't sell Quantum Break. I just don't get rid of stuff. I keep my games. I, I keep my consoles. So more than likely I'll have one for the office and one for the living room and hopefully I'll be able to enjoy The Last Guardian. Now I did mention in the beginning of this video that The Last Guardian does look dated. It does look like an older game. I think the contrast of the game is just wrong but then again it probably isn't. Team Eco is just really amazing at breathing life into these worlds and sometimes I don't see their vision until I have the controller in my hand I'm actually living that world. Uh, but from what I've seen so far it's the colors and the way the game looked just hasn't popped for me. Do I have faith in the game? Absolutely. Will I have this game on December 6th? Absolutely. Very few games will I buy on the day they come out with all ultimate faith in that game. And that Team Eco game has got me no matter what. Uh, just based on what I've played, their, their two previous games have been totally amazing. So I'm excited about it. I'm really anxious to see what they're going to be able to pull out of the PS4 Pro. I've uh, been a little disappointed watching... Uh, Digital Foundry's reviews of certain PS4 Pro games from the PS4 library. Uh, some of these games have had higher resolutions and lower frame rates, and that's something that Sony said would not happen. I know it's extremely early, the thing has only been out for, God, one day at this point, uh, and I don't know when this video is going live, so I'm sure that Sony's going to work on that to make sure that the frame rates are at least on par with the vanilla PS4. I'm excited about this. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. The Last Guardian, getting PS4 Pro support. Are you excited for this game? Are you playing it on the Pro? Are you playing it on the vanilla PS4? Let me know what you're doing in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support if you enjoyed the video. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel by visiting BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.